previously on Hatman Strikes Back. Maybe this vulnerability that Usyk showed in this fight will be enough to get Tyson Fury in the ring. Sometimes this is what it takes for big fights to happen. When you've got one champion in Tyson Fury who's hesitant to get in the ring with the other guy, sometimes he's waiting to see a chink in the other guy's armor, a weakness. And that gives him the confidence to go ahead and say, okay, now's the time to do the fight. I'm praying that the vulnerability Usyk showed against Daniel Dubois and the deep pockets of Frank Warren's new partners in Saudi will be enough to finally entice Mr. Fury to take that Usyk fight next year. And it seems that my prayers have been answered and earlier than I hoped as well. Team Fury have finally plucked up the courage to take the Alexander Usyk fight. Maybe it was that knockdown Usyk suffered in the Dubois fight that convinced them to do it. Maybe it was the public backlash that Fury received after ducking the fight twice previously that ground him down. Or maybe it was a combination of both. Whatever the case may be, the fight is on. Signed, sealed, and delivered for December 23rd in Saudi Arabia. Praise the boxing gods. Now, the only thing more I can ask for is that they cancel the Francis Ngannou fight. Yeah, he's got virtually no chance of winning, but there's always the possibility of Fury picking up an injury. Maybe he hurts his hand or re-injures his elbow. Who knows? Maybe there's a clash of heads and he gets cut. We've been waiting for an undisputed heavyweight champion for 20 years. Why allow a meaningless fight like Fury and Ngannou to jeopardize it now that we're so close? No one's going to care about Ngannou at this point anyway, especially since the Usyk fight's been signed. Why let anything get in the way? Just cancel it. Anyway, assuming all goes well, Fury's going to be practicing his body shots, I'm sure. And Usyk's going to be doing extra sit-ups. <laughs> because although that punch from Dubois was low, it wasn't in the crown jewels. Usyk is vulnerable to the body. We saw it against Baturbiev in the amateurs. We saw it in the AJ rematch. We even heard about it in a sparring session with Martin Bacoli. Now, Usyk definitely has the faster feet than Tyson Fury. He's also got better balance and better coordination. But will he be more wary of getting hit in the body after what happened in that Dubois fight? Because the secret's out now. The cat's out the bag. Everyone's seen it. Being the shorter man, Usyk has to dart in range to land his punches before darting back out. Will he be more hesitant to do that now? And if so, will it allow Fury to actually sit back and box a bit? Because I've always felt that Tyson Fury cannot outbox Alexander Usyk. But if Usyk's more hesitant, it gives Fury more of a chance. On the other hand, if Usyk doesn't hesitate and he is getting the better of things on the outside, perhaps Fury gets over eager, looking for that body shot and opens himself up to counters. At the end of the day, Fury's much taller than Daniel Dubois and he's got much longer arms. So in order to see the openings for the body shots against Usyk, he'll have to crouch down more and the trajectory of his punches is different. Fury isn't as light on his feet as Dubois is these days. So it'll be a bit more difficult for him to get in sync with Usyk's rhythm in order to time him. If Usyk's on form, then I think Fury's gonna have to take it to him, just like he did against Steve Cunningham all those years ago. Will Usyk be able to deal with that pressure for 12 rounds? It's a fascinating equation, and I'll do a more thorough breakdown the closer we get to the fight. But for now, praise the boxing gods, and fingers crossed for good luck. After all these years of torment, we've finally been given the fight that we've always wanted. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers to my Patreon page. I cover loads of different topics in my weekly podcast, as you can see on screen right now, from current events to deep dives down the rabbit hole and everything in between. I'm really enjoying the feedback and the discussions we've been having on there lately. So if you'd like to join the conversation, just click the link in the description box below. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalogue of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high-quality MP3. 
connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.